welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Westie or otherwise known as West Highland White Terrier, West Highland Terrier on the Rainbow Loom. It's a really cute design. I really love how he came out. There are cut bands around his face so you're going to need a scissor at the end so be careful with the scissor and I'll show you exactly where to place the bands to get him to look like this. So it's a single loom, staggered position, and let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need double white bands for this uh, dog. So you're going to need double white, and we're going to place it from the top to the right, then from the top to the left. And remember, it's arrow facing down, and then the middle, and you're going to work your way down. His face is three stitches long. So one, two, three. And then we'll work around the side of the face. And then connect these two pins. And we'll work on the other side. Okay, so the neck will be a triple band to make it sturdier. So three. And then the body is four stitches long, so it's going to be double bands now. I'm going to make him four long. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now we'll work around. This is the triple band, so here's the double, so we're just connecting these two pins. And connecting the bottom. Now let's work on the left side. And then connect the bottom. Okay, so let's make the legs. I didn't add claws to this because mainly a white dog and the white covers the claws too. So it is one, two, three stitches long for the front. So this is the bottom. It's going to be a single wrapped three times around. Two and three and then three double stitches. So here's one, then two, and three. And we're going to place it right here. And then we're going to make another one right here on the right side. So it's a single wrapped three times, then three stitches of double white. And three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, the legs, same thing, so it's going to be a single, one, two, three, 
Then another double. Then another double. Place that to the side, and then we'll go to the loom and make the thigh area. So it's a double on the loom from this pin to this pin. Another double. Connecting here. And then we'll place this on here. And we're going to loom the left first. sure that I have that. And then this one. Okay, take it off the loom. And I'm going to place it on these two pins. on the right side. Single wraps three times, then two doubles, and then we'll go on to the loom. These are doubles, and then we will place the leg. And we're going to grab this one on the left. And we're going to place it right here on these two pins. Okay, now the tail. Okay, this one is three stitches long. If you want it a little bit longer, you can do four stitches. It'll look like that. But I like a little shorter tail, so it's going to be three stitches. So, very simple. Single wrapped three times again. Then three stitches of the double. Okay, number two and number three. Okay, we'll place it right here. Okay, let's place the structural bands. These are singles and it holds the dog together. So triangle, triangle. And another triangle. Okay, let's work on the ears now. Ears are very simple. It's a single, wrap three times. Then it is a triple. So three. Slide this in the middle. Bring it back on so it looks like that. Then a single twist. Slide that on the single twist, and then you can place it right here. And make sure it goes straight up. Then the right side is a single, three times. Then a triple. Slide that on there. Then a single twist. And bring that on there like that. And we're going to place it right here. Straight up. And we're going to make the, the nose, the snout area. 
we're going to use black and it's going to be wrapped four times on the hook. Then take a triple of the white, slide the black on the triple, the middle, so it looks like that. Then take a single white, bring it on the hook, slide it over, and we're going to place it on these two pins. And then we're going to place it all the way down here so it rests underneath this pin. Okay, the eyes are going to be two black bands. You can use um, small beads also for this. It's going to be a single. You can make a figure eight and then bring it around again. Or you can wrap it around four times. So use another figure eight and then wrap it around again. Take a single white, bring the eyes on there, and then we're going to place it on these two pins again. Separate the eyes, and then lay it on top of this pin. Okay, so this is your layout. It's pretty simple. So make sure yours looks like this, and then we're going to start looming. Okay, so we're going to first start with this pin, this rubber band on the left. I'm going to go underneath that tail and go to the left. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to loom this one on the right. Finally, the middle. And we're just going to loom right up to the neck. Okay, we're going to stop. And we're only grabbing the white on the bottom here. And looming forward. Now the diagonal, and now the left side, only the bottom, and now the diagonal. And now this triple band on the neck. It's all the three little band, the bands on the bottom. Okay, so now it's going to be this diagonal right here. It's going to be the uppermost. Bring it to the left. Then my right. And now we can start looming the side. Okay, now the top, bringing it to this middle pin. And we can start on the left side now. And now this middle. We're going to bring this up and go over the snout, and the snout's going to stay in the middle of the band. So you can bring it over and open this up so you can see it better. And I'm just going right there. And then you can bring that snout right through. So this is in the middle of this loop. Then the top. Okay, and now this is your loomed Westie. You need a double white band, 
I'm going to make a slip knot right on the top. So it looks like that. And now we can slowly take it off the loom. Okay, so here's the nose. Want to keep the nose front. looks like right off the loom. Stretch him out, bring out the eyes, want to keep the ears straight up, stretch out his body, his arms, looks like a little polar bear, so cute. So now we're going to make his neck bend, so instead of flat he'll go like this. Take your hook, go underneath the triple band, and tug until it's at a 90 degree angle, just like this. Now we're going to sew this body shut so he's straight like this. So this is where you need a scissor also, and a single rubber band. Go into these stitches right here on the top. Look right here. It's the first set of stitches. Take your rubber band, bring it underneath, bring it back on top of this hook, and make a knot, a slip knot. And pull taut. Now go to the next set of stitches. Bring your hook under, and we're just sewing his body shut. Go to the next set, sewing him shut, and then you can stop there, go one more little set. Okay, so you can snip the end, hold on to it, take one and then hide it underneath one of the bands, and now you can make like a triple knot to, to uh, secure. Okay, so you can either hide the excess within the dog or you can just snip it. Make sure don't cut yourself with this or the dog. Okay, now his body's down. Stretch him down. I don't want to make little paws. I want them straight on this dog. Okay, I'm going to bring his tail up. If you want to keep it straight, you can keep it straight. Place your hook underneath this band, the third one, the third um, stitch on the tail, and just like the neck, tug. Okay, and now the tail's straight up. So just move that a little bit, and you move that like that. So he is looking awesome. And now we're going to add our little cut bands to make him look like this. Okay, so you need around 17 cut bands. And what I did was I took the bands and some of them are a little bit long like that and some of them are like, you know, in different directions. You can move it that way and it's wider. If you have bands like this, make sure you cut the band 
lengthwise like that. That's going to make a skinnier hair, you know, the little cut bands on his face. And I don't want to cut like that. I want to cut lengthwise. So you need around 17 of these. And what you can do also is you can take a whole bunch of them, dangle it on your hook, make sure it's length, you know, they dangle, and they're going to lay that way too. And then you can just cut them. Okay, so I'll just, I'm going to just make a pile. I'm not really going to count how many are here. But it's around 17. And if you want a furrier face, you get more bands. If you want less, then less. So let's start with this. And we're first going to make the bands on the little snout area. I'm going to put three bands here. So I'm going to take three of these bands. I'm going to take my hook and go right through this little hole on the muzzle. So it looks just like that. Then I'm going to take my bands and I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to hold one end and let the other end go through. And I want my bands to be facing down. And we're going to cut them at the end so that they're not long and they're going to frame the face. So you can also put four in this if you want more bands in this facial area. And you can fix it at the end too if you want more. But right now I'm going to do three. So it looks just like that. So now I'm going to take two more. And I want them upside down like this. I'm going to make a little eyebrow bands. And I'm going to go right through this top stitch right here and I'm going to pull these through. And I want them facing up. And that's going to create these bands right here. So now I want to make the side bands go down so I need another double. So I'm going to definitely need a couple more of these cut bands. So I need a double. And I want them facing down. And I'm going to place them Here's this stitch right here where the eye is. I'm just going to go through that stitch. You can see that. And then I'm going to pull this through and make sure that they're facing down. Okay, so it's looking good. If you have any facing up, just move them down. So now we go to the next stitch, which is right here. So I'm going to place my hook right through there. And I'm going to place two more bands. And I want them facing down too. Okay, so mine are facing up, so I'm just going to move them down. Okay, so they're all down. It's looking good. Now we're going to repeat on the right side. So once again, we're going to go to this stitch underneath the ear our hook through it I'm just 
just want to make sure it comes out nice. Okay, so right there. I'm gonna put two more stick, two more cut bands facing down. So maneuver them to face down, just like before. Okay, and then we'll go to the next stitch, which is right here. You can see that. And two more. And that one worked out nice. Okay, so he looks like he has a beard. He's looking great. It's all coming down. So I want to add some bands, like some fraying from the top. So I need one, I need four more cut bands. So I have three here. So I'm going to take two. And I'm going to go right on this ear stitch. It's going to be right here. I'm making this one now. It's a short little band. I'm going to go underneath the ear. It's very easy. Just right underneath this ear. And I'm going to bring my band. And I'm going to facing like this. Up. Take your time. Step one. And number two. And they're actually surrounding the ear right now. It's actually surrounding it. It looks really cool. So we're going to do the same on this ear. Go right underneath. Grab the two bands. Bring it through. And let them face up. So now he can go to the groomer. So we're gonna just cut it really easy. So you have the ear bands facing up, this eyebrow band facing up, these slip knot ones facing up, and these. And everything else is facing down. So now you're gonna take your scissor and I'm gonna cut however long you want the bands to be. I'm gonna start cutting right here on the neckline and I'm just going to cut straight across so be careful not to cut yourself also here's my neckline I'm going to cut the sides first it's a trip to the groomer okay so that looks pretty even Okay, so he's looking good there. I want this a little bit shorter. It all depends on how short you want it and how it looks. Okay, so now the side bands, they're a little long, so I'm going to cut them. It's a little bit shorter. To be the haircut that I want. Okay, I'm going to cut these. This one a little bit shorter to match the side. He's looking good. And then if you cut it too short, you can always put more bands. So 
Now I have the ear bands. I want them a little bit shorter. These ones on the top. So they're just pointing out just a little bit. Okay, and then we'll, here's the other ear bands. These are my eyebrow bands. I'm going to put them on the side and just continue cutting the ear ones. If you don't like the ear ones there, you can not, you don't have to put it there either. Okay, eyebrows. Cut a straight line, and then I'm going to cut this, and he's looking good. So you can see the bands are coming down, and he looks so much different compared to when we didn't add the cut bands. So I'm going to trim a little bit more right here just to make him perfect and you can trim them if you don't like how short the hair is you can add more bands and then trim again so but this is your you can bring the ear up your Westie so you have some bands popping out here on the top everything else is going down and you have if you want more hair on the face I have those three bands in the muzzle area and you can add more in the muzzle area too if you want. I think it'll look good with more in the muzzle area too. So and that is your Westie. I hope you like this tutorial. Okay and this is how he looks. So I'm thinking and you can also bring some bands from the side and pull on it just to see how he looks like that too move the bands around just like that he looks pretty awesome okay please subscribe just make one more little cut and this is your Westie <laughs> okay we'll see you soon bye bye